Okay, so in this video, we are looking at the homework questions 33, 35, and 37 from chapter nine on uh, the solutions. Okay, so 33, 35, and 37. These relate to finding the concentrations. So we have the mass by mass person problem where uh, 33 part C I'm doing, the rest of it you do on your own. So eight grams of calcium chloride is dissolved in 80 grams of calcium chloride solution. So remember that mass by mass problems are mass of the solute, mass of the solute in grams, right? Over the mass of the solution, mass of the, mass of the solution, and that also in grams times 100%. And that gives you the mass by mass percent. So here we see that eight, so let me change the color, eight, eight point zero grams calcium chloride. This is the solute. This is dissolved in calcium chloride solution. Okay. And that is the total weight of the solution is 80.0 grams of this solution of calcium chloride. And generally, you know, these are ionic compounds. So they are soluble in water. And, um, you know, so they that's why we call it calcium chloride solution times 100%. So let's solve this. Eight, eight divided by 80 times 100. And that is equal to 10%. So how are you going to write this? 10% mass by mass percent calcium chloride solution. Okay, so this is one way. Okay, this thing, mass by mass problem. Next is the mass by volume problem. So here 39, same story. So here you have the mass of the solute in grams over the volume in milliliters uh, or milliliters volume. Um, in this case, it's volume of the solution in milliliters times 100%. So this becomes mass by volume percent. So here you have, in this case, let's do this. In this case, um, sorry. Um, 39 grams of sucrose is in 355 milliliters of the carbonated drink, that carbonated drink is the solution. So 39 grams, 39 grams of sucrose, that's the sugar, sucrose over 355, 355 milliliters of the drink, you know, of the solution, that's carbonated drink, times 100%. Okay, so what do you get here? This becomes 39, sorry, 39 divided by 355 times 100. And that gives you 10.98. So mass by volume. So the percent is equal to 10.98. So here's the thing regarding the concentrations. I mean, the concept of like rounding up, rounding down in the significant figures, it's all like immaterial in this case, because it's best to have the exact, you know, concentration of a substance, even if it differs by like a few points. However, what you can do is if the multiple choice is giving you a rounded up number, then you can go with that. So 11 by, so I'm going to just put it here, 10.98 mass by volume percent sucrose solution. Sucrose in carbonated drink, okay, in the drink. So these numbers, you will see that they write in the, uh, like on the labels of the food labels and all those things. Okay, next is calculate the grams or the milliliter of the solute needed to make 50 grams of 5% mass by mass KCL solution. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so here 50 grams of 5% mass by mass KCL solution. So this means that, um, so, so the solution, so in other words, what they are asking is calculate the volume 
of a 5% mass by mass KCL solution that contains 50 grams of KCL. That's what it means. So first of all, 5% mass by mass percent. What is the meaning of this? This means five grams of KCL potassium chloride is dissolved in 100 grams of solution. Okay, so here, because it's mass by mass, so we are only going to look at the grams of the solution. So here, this is a little bit uh, not very exact. What are they, what do they want here? But because the formula is mass by mass, we cannot get the volume. Okay, so I thought that, you know, that was a mistake from my side. It's mass by mass means we will only be able to get how many grams of the solution will contain um, of the solute, the solute, KCL. So in other words, 50 grams of the solution will contain how many grams of KCL? This is the question, okay? So, okay, so just breaking up the five by five. So what this means is that five, let me write then five grams of KCL is present in is present in 100 grams of solution. Okay, so, so this is one thing. And then the same, so let's uh, remove this from here. So the conversion factor of this becomes, the conversion, this becomes as a conversion factor, five grams KCL over 100 grams of solution. Or the other conversion factor is 100, grams of solution over five grams of KCL. Okay, five grams of KCL, these two. Okay, so 50 grams will be how much? So what you're going to do next is, you're going to write down, um, let's just, just put here 50 gram solution will contain how much KCL? 50 grams of the solution contains how much KCL, grams of KCL, okay? So now write down here, 50 grams solution, okay? Times that conversion factor that allows you the grams of KCL in the numerator, and we need to cancel out the solution grams. So 100 grams of solution is in the denominator and five grams of five grams KCL is in the, on the top. And that is the solute, that is what we need to find. So with this, the grams of the solution, grams of the solution cancel out and you're just left with the grams of KCL, okay? So what do you do now? You are going to now next, <laughs> the light and the sun. Okay, anyway, so 50 times 5 over 100. Let's do this. 50 times 5 divided by 100, and you get 2.5 grams of KCL is present. in 50 grams of 5% mass by mass KCL solution, KCL solution. Okay, so this is how you get the answer is 2.5 grams. Okay, so, all right, let's check the answers. Okay, so I checked the answers from the back. So our first answer of 10, um, where did it go? 10, so it's 10.98. So this is uh, the 35B, this is correct. 35, uh, no, the first one was uh, uh, the mass by mass percent, the one with the calcium chloride solution, um, 33. So 33 is 10, 
mass by the calcium chloride 10. So that's correct. Next is 35. 35 B is roughly, they have given you 11, like I said. So this is 11% isn't given in the book. And so it's close to this. So this is also correct. Okay. Next is the answer at the back is 2.5 grams of KCL solution is present also. That is also correct. Now let's look at the next one. So we are given the volume volume of 4% mass by volume ammonium chloride solution. So here you see, so same thing, 4%, 4% mass by volume. Now here we are using mass by volume ammonium chloride, NH4, NH4 Cl solution. So what is the meaning of this? It means the same, that four grams of NH4 Cl is present in 100 milliliters of solution because this is the uh, mass by volume, okay? Next is 100 milliliters of solution over four grams NH4Cl, okay? So these are the conversion factors. Now, for one, two, five zero milliliters of this solution will contain how many grams of um, NH4Cl? So let's write this problem here. How many grams? How many grams of NH4Cl is present in one, two, five, zero milliliters. Okay, so write down what is given to you. One, two, five, zero milliliters times that conversion factor that cancels out the milliliters of the solution. So 100 milliliters of the solution comes in the denominator because you can want to cancel this out. And you have four grams of ammonium chloride, four grams of NH4Cl is on the top. So here you see the milliliters of the solution and milliliters of the solution cancel out. You're just left with the grams. The next is just do the math, which is one, two, five, zero times four divided by 100. Okay, so let's do the math here. Um, one, two, five, zero, my phone. Okay, here, one, two, five, zero times four divide by 100 and you get 50. So 50 grams of NH4 Cl is present in, in one, two, five, zero milliliters of 4% mass by volume solution. Okay, so the answer is, so this one is, answer was, this is part B, the answer is checked it, it is also correct. All right. Okay, so this finishes this video and in the next video we are going to look at the molarity. Okay, so